Hey guys, it's Alexis, and today I'm going to be showing you a Sephora haul. It's really all just Rihanna's line, <laughs> Fenty Beauty. So if you want to see what I got, then stay tuned. First of all, let me say, all of her products are amazing. I've already tried them all, and I also did a makeup tutorial on her line. So if you want to see how I created this look, I'll leave the link in the description box. Also, I did an honest review on her line as well. So I'll leave the link in the description for that too. But the first thing I'm going to show you is her Fenty Beauty brush. And this is the foundation brush. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is her brush. I used it already, of course. That's why it's dirty. I probably should have cleaned it before I did this video, but whatever. But first of all, let me say... I don't know if her foundation is what has the scented smell or if it's the brush or maybe it's both. But there's a scented smell on the brush. Maybe it's the foundation. It's probably the foundation. But first of all, I don't even use my foundation with a brush. I use a beauty blender just because I feel like it blends better. But I use her brush and let me tell you, I love her brush because... For one, it's hella soft. You can tell the bristles are really soft, but like when you dab it on your face, you can feel the firmness on the brush. If that makes sense, I really suck at describing shit, so excuse me. But if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But yeah, this is her brush, and I really love it. I'm glad I got it because the first time that I went to Sephora, I didn't get the brush at first. And then I went back and I got the brush. So I'm glad I did because I really do like it. And then I'm going to show you her foundation, which this is the box for it. And I'm in the color 320, which is my birthday, by the way, if you didn't know. And this is what her packaging looks like as far as the foundation bottle. It's really sleek. It's really pretty. First of all, it's a soft matte foundation, which I love matte, only because I'm really oily. So having matte foundation on top of like setting your foundation with a setting powder or whatever, it really helps people with oily skin. So if you have really oily skin, I would say this is a really good foundation for you because it's matte. So you don't get as oily. I still get oily only because I'm super fucking oily. But if you're oily like me, then this is a really good foundation for you. And I used her foundation the first day that it came out. And I went to a party and I got home around 3.30 and my makeup was still flawless. Okay? Okay. Then this is the Matchstick Trio. This is a concealer, contour, and a highlight all in one. And... If you know your foundation color already, they help you pick out which MAC Stick Trio is best for you. And I'm in the color Medium 200, which the box looks like this. And then her Trio sticks look like this. First of all, let me say that I think this was the cutest thing how to do this. Like basically a concealer, contour, and a highlighter all in one. And it's not the typical palette. It sticks and they're magnetic. So whoever is her creative director or maybe she is her own creative director for her beauty line, this has to be the smartest thing ever. And the fact that she magnetically put them all together, I think they put a lot of thought into her line, which is really good. Because details are very important when it comes to products and beauty and all that other stuff. But I really love this. And honestly, y'all know me, I don't even use concealer sticks or contour sticks. I, that ain't my thing. I just don't like that type of shit. But I, I used hers, I think today was my third day using it. And I love it. Like, especially her contour stick. 
like the way it blends out evenly on your face especially if you know how to blend of course but it just looks so natural it looks natural but you can see the contour and then her highlight the only bad thing that i can say about her highlight is i like my highlight to be like you know pop and i need you to see my highlight i need you to see my shine and as fucking cheekbones and the only thing that I would say about her highlight for tripping on my skin color, it doesn't really give me justice. Like, it doesn't do what I need it to do. But other than that, I really love these. The next thing that I got was the Kilowatts Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And this is in the colors Girl Next Door and Cheek Freak. And this is what the packaging looks like. And then look how cute this compact little, like an octagon. And then, of course, I already used it. It just looks like this. I love this highlighter. And then I got her lip gloss, and the packaging for her lip gloss looks like this. And I'm kind of upset that Rihanna didn't come out with more lip stuff, but I guess it makes sense because she only came out with one lip product, which is the Fenty Glow, and it's a universal lip luminizer. So basically, it's a lip gloss that suits everybody's skin color, basically, which is smart because, I mean, you can't go wrong with an everyday lip gloss, you know what I'm saying, for everybody. But I kind of wish she would have gave more... more lip stuff like I mean maybe she will later on she's just probably you know, <laughs> I don't doubt it but I really wish that she would have came out with a lot but this is what her lip gloss looks like and I have it on right now as well and I actually got two of these because I love lip gloss, I love lip products, and I feel like that's more of an everyday lip gloss color, so I feel like I would run out of it faster, so I just got two. This is the one that's not open yet. Um, and then I got this, it's called the Invisimat, and it's a blotting powder. And like I said, I'm very oily, so I got this. It's a universal blotting powder, and the packaging looks like this. And then this is how the compact looks. And then you open it, and it comes with the mirror. It comes with this little thingy majigger. I haven't used this yet, only because I had. I haven't felt the need to use it yet, honestly, because like I said, her foundation is a soft matte foundation. And on top of setting it with a setting powder, which this is what you can use as well, um, I haven't been getting as oily. So I didn't feel the need to use this yet, but I will just to see how it is. It says instant refresh on the go filter effect. So basically, if I do ever get oily, you know, on a midnight out or whatever, and then I would use this to like just set it back in place. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, those are all the items that I got from the Fenty Beauty line. Okay, so I totally forgot to show you guys the perks that I got with my rewards points. So let me show y'all that. So I have hella points only because I used to work at Sephora like a year ago and I've never used them ever, 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 ever. I've never used my points. So I just ended up getting um, this 500 point perk and this is the Tarte Play with Clay Discovery set. I haven't even opened it yet. But it looks like this. Um, it comes with the Amazon Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Ave Princess. It comes with the Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. It comes with the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, the little 
I guess it's like little samples of each color. And then it comes with the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in concept. And it comes with the smooth operated Amazonian clay finishing powder. Oh shit. So this is the bronzer. The packaging is cute. <laughs> This is the finishing powder. I think with the little perk rewards, I'm just gonna buy a little makeup bag and put like um, the stuff in my makeup bag. That way I don't have to carry my full size products in my purse and waste it, you know what I'm saying? So you can just use the little minis as your little touch up type of makeup sort of thing. And this is what the mascara looks like. This is the blush. I don't even use blush. This is the little foundation samples that I was talking about. So. And then I got this Sour Bomb Victor and Raw little mini perfume spray and this smells really really good i'm gonna put this in the little makeup bag thing too and then i got the versace bright crystal roller ball this smells really good too it looks like this damn it looks like only half of this shit filled up the fuck but yeah this smells really good too and then the last thing that i got for my perk is the makeup forever artist liquid matte lip color and this is in the color 105 and it's just this pretty mauve pinkish nude color it's really cute i'm gonna swatch this for y'all so creamy i already know i have i have lip colors like this already so i mean it was free shit might as well put it in my little makeup bag right <laughs> but yeah it's just this pretty little matte color but yeah, that's all the perks that I got. I came up. I had to put that in the haul because it was a Sephora haul, you know? So I just had to show you guys what I got. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to share this video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your son, and your baby mama. Love you.